this is the video on the geometry of morphisms of categories and, and functors. So when we're going to be working with stacks and algebraic spaces, well, we want to be able to say that uh, to say when a morphism is smooth, tall, proper, surjective, things like this. Okay, so uh, in this video, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to let C, uh, so this is going to be a category, so this is going to be the category of categories, or it's going to be the, a category of functors. Okay. Uh, this is going to be correspond to the algebraic spaces case. This is going to correspond to the um, stacks case, the algebraic stacks case. Okay, and so um, this is uh, one of the things uh, that we wanted. And uh, so given uh, a scheme, uh, we're going to let, um, uh, so we're going to let uh, x bar here, so this is going to be equal to, well, this is going to be e either um, uh, the the uh, so category category so this is either going to be the scheme over x so this is the uh, associated um, scheme or uh, we're going to do a h sub x so this is the the functor of points um, so uh, depending on uh, on which case we're in here okay so uh, so this is kind of the two things that we're going to do. Um, uh, this is kind of a non-standard notation, but uh, I thought it just it, it makes things shorter. Okay, so um, all right. So usually this just denotes this thing. Okay, so um, now I, I can give an, uh, a definition. So now I need to define uh, uh, some representability. Uh, I need to do it uh, for morphisms and for um, for objects. So uh, definition. Uh, so an object, uh, let's say, um, uh, so x in C uh, is representable uh, if uh, so x is uh, x is isomorphic to. Um, uh, so uh, isomorphic to uh, x, let's say um, hmm, y underline for some some uh, y in the category of schemes. Um, I, uh, I w w so this could all be done relative. Uh, first of all, uh, the other thing to notice is that um, in the in the two category way, we can sometimes say uh, that this is uh, uh, one representable or two representable. And then if it's too representable, then this is just be an equivalence of categories, not uh, uh, so so not just a natural isomorphism. Um, so this means that there's a functor here, and then there's a functor back, and then the composition has a natural transformation to the identity. Um, okay, so that's 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 what we mean by representable. Uh, one of these things. Um, okay, so now I can give you the definition of when a, a morphism is representable. So a morphism in, in the category C. Um, let's say x to y uh, in C uh, is uh, uh, representable uh, if uh, the following holds. So now I'm going to do something kind of uh, weird. Uh, so if and only if. Um, uh, well, the, the, the situation is as follows. Um, so for every one of these, so if I have this this guy, x to y, and, and I can consider um, maps from, from so this is a, something that, that comes from a, a geometric object. Um, so for every one of these, um, what we're going to get, we're going to get is we're going to get this u, and we're going to get a map to x, and a map to here, uh, here, and uh, uh, we're going to get this diagram, so that there exists a u in a diagram like this. Uh, that's Cartesian, and so this could either be uh, so depending on uh, this is either one Cartesian or two Cartesian, depending on your uh, uh, flavor of uh, morphism here. Um, uh, uh, also, I, I should mention that uh, uh, so let's see. So this is two Cartesian. Uh, two Cartesian means that there's going to be a natural transformation uh, between those two composition of functors. Um, so let me let me give some remarks. 
Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. So uh, this 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 guy here uh, is representable uh, if and only if. Uh, so for all uh, v in let's say uh, so let's say geometric, I'm going to say what I'll say why I'm using the word geometric here. Um, but uh, in, in, a mo in the next remark uh, here, so we should think of this being a scheme. It can actually be an algebraic stack too. Uh, uh, so th this thing is representable as an object, uh, as a morphism. Uh, sorry, uh, this shouldn't be underlined. As a morphism, uh, if this is uh, representable uh, as an object. Okay. So, and then you could do one representable or two representable, uh, depending on the, the flavor. Um, I, I've been saying geometric object because of the second remark. Uh, remark number two is that, um, uh, so uh, if, if you have, a, a, if X is a, a, an algebraic space, uh, one can consider then the category, uh, so this is in, uh, so, uh, so this is again, um, Let's say, yeah, so this is, again, this is a functor from the category of schemes to uh, sets here. Uh, so what you can do is one can, one can look at uh, uh, X underline, and this could also be, um, uh, uh, so this could be functors from schemes to sets, maybe so we could say op, uh, to sets uh, over uh, X. Okay, so we, we can make this over category too, and so this is a category. Okay, so so it makes sense uh, to talk about uh, uh, morph objects and morphisms of stacks. Uh, being representable uh, by algebraic spaces. Okay, and, and so stacks, again, we should just be thinking of categories since I haven't given the definition. Um, and and uh, algebraic spaces, we should be thinking of functors. So. Uh, so if you have an al algebraic space, this is really going to be a functor, and, and you can make a, a category out of the functor as well. Um, okay, so that's 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 all I had to say about that. And and um, uh, so now now we come to to the the main question of this whole thing is uh, so question. Um, so when is a morphism a morphism? Uh, in C, uh, uh, let's say smooth, the tall, uh, proper, surjective, you know, uh, dot dot dot. You could go on, right? Uh, so, like, i.e., when does when does a morphism does a morphism of functors or categories or categories uh, is uh, have a property uh, P. Okay, and now this is kind of the, this is a very clever idea. I, I think this is due to Deline and Mumford. Um, and the idea is as follows. Uh, so here's a definition. Uh, a morphism, so a representable morphism, uh, F, so in C, it, uh, has property P, P if um, so for every um, uh, one of these guys, so 
y, and then we take uh, u here. So we do this situation here where we take a geometric object, right? So by the by the definition of representable, um, uh, th this implies that there exists one of these guys, v to u, uh, and then we have uh, x to y. Okay, uh, so then. Uh, there exists one of these guys, and then we can call this map here uh, phi. Um, and we'll say that this, okay, when we do this, um, uh, that this has property P if uh, uh, phi is equal to F bar, where uh, F is a map from uh, V to U, and uh, F has property P. Okay, so the idea is is that uh, here that okay we, we, we take this map here, uh, and then uh, we'll we'll what we do is we we'll, we'll look at uh, since it's representable we can look at uh, a map from uh, a genuine geometric object, and then we can say that uh, uh, that that this map has is smooth say if this map is induced by a smooth map. Okay, that, that's the idea. And so this is how you're allowed to talk about uh, uh, smooth maps of schemes and, and proper maps of schemes and, or sorry, stacks or algebraic spaces and things like this. So um, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, you can go uh, watch the other video on, um, on uh, the, the, the definition of, uh, of uh, stacks now.